How y'all doing today? It's your boy Jermaine from General G's Recruiting, back with another video. And so for this video, I'm gonna talk about three ways you shouldn't wear your beard. Now, this is just my opinion, so you can kind of take this video, you know what I'm saying, however you want it. But I'm just gonna go over, from my opinion, three things that you shouldn't do, especially if you've had successful minoxidil and you can grow a beard. These are the things that will make your beard look terrible. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the chin strap beard. As you can see in these two pictures right here, this was a style that was real popular like in the 90s, early 2000s. I know Ice Cube used to rock the chin strap beard. If you were into the pornos, Brian Pumper, he used to rock the chin strap beards with the mustache and the goatee. But right now, you, you shouldn't be wearing that, man. And I feel like if you got the genetics and the ability to grow a full beard, make sure all your cheeks is covered, man. It just looks a lot better than having a little, a little, a little sliver of hair going down your chin, even if it's lined up. Don't do it, man. That style is not in style anymore. All right, the second thing that you shouldn't do is have a high beard neckline. So when I'm talking about this, I'm referring to the bottom of your beard where that starts at. In my opinion, the bottom of your beard should start right above your Adam's apple. Now, as you can see in these pictures, especially to the right, his beard line is cut really high. And you can kind of get away with this style if you are, if you have a short beard, as well if you're kind of a thin guy, you have a nice cheek line. But if you're heavy set or fat, if your beard line is cut too high, it's gonna show that turkey neck up under there. And then it just doesn't look good once you start growing your beard fully out. And so instead of that, you wanna make your beard nice and low, as you can see, on this uh, picture right here, um, where the barber's cutting his beard line, he's starting right above the Adam's apple, and that gives you a nice full beard, um, and it looks a lot better than having a beard line way up there, especially when you're growing your beard out, beard out nice and long. And so the third thing that you shouldn't do, now this really goes from my bald-headed guys, and this is having high sideburns. So whenever you get your beard, you don't want your sideburns all the way up into your scalp, as you can see in these two pictures right here. As you can see, it just it just doesn't look good. So instead of this, you want to blend your sideburns into your beard, as you can see in these pictures right here. Even though these two guys have high sideburns, it looks a lot better because it's tapered down and it's blended down into a nice clean looking beard. And this is really important, like I said, if you're a bald-headed guy like me, you have to blend the beard down. And this also can apply for guys that have hair on their head. As you can see in these next two pictures, the beard just looks way better when it's blended down, when it's, when it's you know what I'm saying, blended down into the beard as well as it's blended into to your hair. And it just, like I say, it just turns out to make a better beard, a better haircut, and everything like that. And so that's it, man, for this video. Um, Y'all let me know, is there any other beard styles that I didn't include that people shouldn't wear or any don'ts that you shouldn't do if you have a beard? Y'all let me know in the comment section, and I'll see y'all with the next video. Peace out.